today we're going to read another magazine article so this is from the magazine 17 and article we're gonna read this one I met my BF online. When I told my friend, she just said, well, you're a freak. Tired of players who just want to hook up. Haley 20 was too. So she tried a different way of dating and it worked as told to Devin Nam. When I told people how my boyfriend and I got together, I always get the same reaction, bulging eyes. That's because we met online. As popular as dating sites have become, there's still a stereotype that they are the last resort for desperate older people. The thing is, I never had a problem dating until I started my freshman year at the University of Oregon. I thought I would meet tons of cool guys, but they were all only interested in one thing, hooking up. I have always been the relationship type and I don't want to settle. Then in October, I was in class and noticed a flyer for datemyschool.com, a college dating site. I was nervous. My friends would make fun of me, but I figured that if a guy was willing to go through the trouble of making a profile, he was probably looking for something serious like I was. So, without telling anyone, I went for it. Within hours, I had a message from Matthew, a senior at the University of North Carolina, introducing himself and asking me if I wanted to Skype. I had few messages from other guys, but Matthew had the cutest pic even though he was totally hot i said i did not want to skype immediately after all he could have been some gross guy who would pull down his pants on camera instead i messaged a bit more he told me about his rotc program and i talked about my classes and friends I love that he was interested in getting to know me and that he was also open up about himself. I decided it would be good to Skype so I could make sure he was who he said. I was nervous just like before an actual date but we wound up talking for hours. A few days later, I confessed to a close friend that I had met someone online. I thought she would be excited for me, but instead she gave me a weird look and said, Wow, you're a freak, but I hope it all works out. I was irritated and felt judged. But I refused to let it affect how I felt about Matthew. My gut told me we had a real connection. We continued talking nonstop and last December he asked me to his spring military ball in North Carolina. I wanted to go but my parents were freaked out about me flying across the country to spend a weekend with someone they had never met. So they said no. I called Matthew crying and broke the news, but 
he instantly made me feel better by offering to come to Portland first to meet them. My parents loved that idea, so Matthew booked a flight to visit over winter break. As I waited for him at the airport, my hands were shaking like crazy. Then I saw him and my nervousness vanished. I ran into his arms and kissed him. The entire trip was great and it was incredible to feel like a normal couple for once. When I saw him again last March for the ball, it made me wish we could be together all the time. And I felt crushed leaving him without knowing when we would be able to see each other again. Luckily, we just found out he's been stationed at an army base two hours away from me and is moving this month. Can't wait. Thank you.